John twenty twenty, kai tuta epon, edexentas cheras kai tein pluran altois, ekaresan un hoi methetai idantes ton kurian. If you remember right before this, Jesus appeared to the disciples behind locked doors and said to them, Peace to you all. And we read, And having said this, right, this is an aorist participle. It's building on the second aorist stem of Lego. The second aorist stem of Lego is apon. So we have that second aorist stem. Then we have present participle endings for a second aorist stem. This is an aorist active participle. It's nominative masculine singular and probably temporal. Right? So we might translate with after. After he said this, right? peace to you all. He showed, that's from the verb date knew me, to show. You can see a sigma has come in here, an augment. This is an aorist. He showed, we're going to go super literal here, the hands and the side to them. Of course, possession, it can often be implied in Greek. It, it often is for body parts, right? Like hands and your side. And when it is implied, the article is almost always there. So it clearly, Jesus showed them his hands and his side to them. Uh, so, consequently, right, when the disciples saw these things, uh, so the disciples rejoiced uh, when they saw the Lord, or perhaps because they saw the Lord. We have another adverbial participle here with probably overlapping sense of cause and, and time, probably best translated as time. When they saw the Lord, uh, they rejoiced. That word, ekaresan, I want to talk just a tiny bit more about there, ekaresan. The lexical form of that is Cairo to rejoice. And this is a little bit of an unusual form. The form is eris passive indicative third person plural. But really, I, it probably should be parsed a medial passive. Uh, it's, a, it's a medial passive because there's a middle sense to it. And verbs of emotion often uh, do... Uh, convey are often are found in in medial passive form in, or in middle form, and so I put the paradigm for the aorist passive here just to contrast it. So eluthein, eluthes, eluthe, eluthemen, eluthete, eluthesan. Of course, that would just be translated: I was loosed, you were loosed, he was loosed, we were loosed, y'all were loosed, they were loosed. That last form there. Notice we have the augment, we have the ason ending. Notice up above here with this verb, we have the augment, we have the ason ending. We do not have the theta. We've had a slight spelling change in the stem and that we lost a yoda. But we, we do not have a theta. Some aorist passive forms do not have a theta. This one does not. So again, we would parse it as an aorist medial passive, because it's a passive form that conveys a middle idea, medial passive, indicative, third person plural, they rejoiced. The subject is given explicitly here. The disciples rejoiced.